Debunking five common myths about weirdness. There are five self-beliefs that have an impact on your performance. If you ever find yourself thinking or believing any of these, be careful. On the other hand, if you do hold any of these beliefs, you can be optimistic because beliefs can be changed. In this presentation, we're going to debunk five common myths about weirdness. This will help you become aware of what needs to change and understand how your behavior is influenced by your motives. Success is determined by how you compare with others. When it comes to our personal and professional agendas, we all set our own standards of excellence. We compare ourselves to our past achievements. We compare ourselves to objective standards. We compare ourselves to other people. These comparison points determine our goals. I cannot obtain happiness. Many people believe that their weirdness will keep them from obtaining happiness, no matter what they're trying to do. They believe that they're just as likely to find a unicorn in the White House. However, it is possible to achieve happiness. Here's what you must do. Figure out your values. Understand that attaining certain goals isn't the answer. I'm not in control of the world. According to Carol Dweck, a psychologist, we have one of two primary viewpoints that affect how we interact with the world. We believe that we can change and grow with personal effort, or we are at the mercy of the world, unable to influence our own destiny. My skill stroke ability is extraordinary. A survey from 2018 indicated that 73% of nearly 3,000 college-educated Americans believed that they were above average intelligence. Unfortunately, skill inflation is a major issue in the workplace. A college graduate will show up for a job thinking they can do it when, in reality, they're not even close to being prepared. In addition to derailing your career, overconfidence in your skills makes you seem hopeless because you have no clue that your performance is subpar. When you're in a professional environment, you may have a hard time recognizing the obvious, and instead of trying to improve, you just keep looking for validation for your own beliefs while ignoring information that conflicts them. It's my motivational type. As humans, we have a voracious desire to try to find the reason for certain behaviors, outcomes, and events. If something doesn't work out right, we want to know who caused it and why it happened. If something does work out perfectly, we snatch up credit and then try to find out how and why it was a successful outcome so that it can be repeated in the future. We also enjoy not expending cognitive effort when we can. Why should we think stroke reason if it's possible to generalize? This pattern of seeking causes an event, and also resting our brain causes us to label others based on certain characteristics and traits. We use labels to justify our identities and behaviors. Labeling ourselves and others becomes an issue that leads to inaccurately branding others for several reasons. For example, though some consultant stroke authors would like you to believe it, there is actually no such thing as fixed motivation. Though you might exhibit some dominant motivations, your behaviors actually change with the situation. When we generalize, we assume that everyone that falls under that certain label have the same motivations. They really don't. Sometimes a person is labeled and they act the way they are labeled because that's what they think is expected. Conclusion If you find that you have any of these weird thoughts or behaviors, don't stress too much over it. The truth is, when you become aware of it and decide that you want to change, you'll be able to. Hopefully, this has helped you to debunk five common myths about weirdness. For more free educational content, visit learnforfree.biz. Content produced and distributed by AllSuperInfo.